Um, I'm Taylor Hall uh, from the School of Environmental Study. Uh, for the climate talks, we've been doing, uh, we've all taken a course. Uh, I think the UNFCCC had this module course out. It took a lot of work, but we all got certified um, as takers of the course. Um, We've done that. We've been doing a lot of just background work on what do we want to look at there, what do we want to follow, and what we want to bring back to our school. Because one of the things we really want to do is um, let people know uh, at our school what's happening, like what's being done. I think it's really important to um, to see how the world can work together when there's so much um, negative happening in the world and so much conflict. It's a really important topic and it's nice to see how a bunch of world leaders can work together to come up with a solution for something so important. Hi, I'm Robbie Probstel. I'm a student from the School of Environmental Studies and I'm a UN delegate going to COP21. I am going because I'd like to learn more about this issue and form some connections so I can make a difference. I think that getting ren uh, technology for renewable energy uh, cemented in and put into place is the most important thing we could do right now. Because as they said here, as they said here, a four degree world isn't insurable. So we can't really make that risk if it's not economically insurable, but it can't be good for us either. All right. Um, my name is Filson Saeed, and I'm with the School of Environmental Studies. I'm going to Paris to see the different, no um, I'm all about solutions as a human being, so I love to hear about what people are doing and what people are interested in and just what they're passionate about. I just love people having passions about the environment, human rights, everything. I mean, and the whole equity aspect, too. I love, would love to hear, see, hear and see about that in Paris as well. I mean, from what my teacher said is that, like, all these cops, these previous cops were leading up to COP21. All these previous cops kept saying, okay, in 2015, we're going to do this. In 2015, we're going to do that. Well, now it's 2015. So, you know, I'm just, it's important to see what now they're going to do to actually combat climate change because it is a national security, I believe. Hi, uh, we're still here at the Science Museum with Colin, one of the students from the School for Environmental Studies that just got some news that uh, they're not being allowed to go for safety concerns, but uh, they still are very active. They've been planning on this. So, Colin, uh, what do you hope to accomplish now that you can't go to Paris? Well, we're trying as hard as we can to figure out ways that we could possibly go to Paris. Um, but if that's not the possibility, we just want to hope that everybody else who's going there is able to get as much out of it as they can because we don't want our world's climate to be yet another tragedy out of the tragedies in Paris on Friday. So we want to make sure that people can work together towards the goal and show that we are still collaborating, we're still trying to work for a cleaner planet and that we can coordinate within Minnesota, try to learn some lessons from that and apply them to our own lives here. And how old are you? And uh, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got interested in this. Well, I'm 18 and I'm a senior at SES, uh, and my background has mostly been through working with uh, Model UN organizations, the debate and speech community, learning about how to confront these sort of issues, how to talk about them, how to learn about the science and analyze where people are coming from and how to make the arguments that will convince people that this is seriously a major issue. And that's what I was trying to, and still trying to get out of the Paris talks. And do you think that one voice, a citizen's voice, can make a difference? I think that one voice can make a difference and a thousand voices can make a lot of difference. Thank you so much, and I uh, hope you will follow us in Paris uh, if you can't make it, and if you do, we'll see you there. All right, thank you.